to Consciously Healthy. Hello, I'm Laura, sat here in a head pyramid. Yep, it's very fetching. Yeah. And I'm Claire. We promised on the last podcast that I would be sat here in my head pyramid. Mm, and so, so, yes, if you're watching the video, then you can see it. And if you're on podcast, Laura is literally sat here with a pyramid on her head. And it's not like it sits like a hat. It um, actually comes down and, and rests on her nose. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of, you Just know. I'm feeling really spiritual right now. Mm, you, you look really spiritual. Thanks. So, what actually, you... <laughs> I, think, I think you look a bit like, you know, you look like you belonged in the 80s. Do you think? Mm. Mm. Or on Star Trek, either or. It's going to be my Star Trek look. It's a good Star Trek look. Um, so why do we have a head pyramid? Because it really raises your vibration. Ah, mm, feeling it. Mm. And so therefore helps clear out the etheric body and is very healing, therefore. I feel healed. Do you? A bit. So talking of that, today we're going to talk about <laughs> skin. Do you, like, do you like the way oh, I sucked into there? Nice, like, smooth. Yeah. Um, oh, this is one of my favourite topics and I can talk about skin for a lot longer than 10 minutes, so I'm going to try and rein it in. Mm. So I think this is going to be an introduction to skin from... Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, be professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, sorry, carry on. I'm can sorry. I wear the head pyramid for the whole podcast? Yeah, okay. Probably. Um, okay, so skin. Skin conditions. So we have, what do we see? Uh, eczema, psoriasis, spots... Um, dry skin, oily skin, rosacea, uh, oh, uh, dandruff, um, folliculitis, allergy, yep. sort of skin, yep. um, hives, um, unexplained rashes. Yes. Well, it's like a quiz. It is. What else? Uh, um, cuddly toy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do for now. Yeah. Um, so there are the the interesting thing about skin is that it's not like something like a kidney infection that you know something is going on with the bladder and kidneys and we can focus on that area when a skin condition presents itself it can be coming from anywhere and it's one of the reasons that i love what i do in my clinic because it really makes me think outside the box it really makes me think outside the head pyramid <laughs> So don't, I, don't wear that in your clinic. Oh, please. <laughs> it, might, it might help me channel stuff. Um, so one of the main reasons I got into health was because of my skin. And I ha um, suffered with psoriasis. I still do suffer with psoriasis in places. And psoriasis is an autoimmune condition. And so it is directly linked with the endocrine system. And a big reason for psoriasis is stress the more stress that someone experiences the worse that that skin condition can get anything else you want to say about psoriasis uh no not psoriasis i can say a little bit about eczema go for it um i can get eczema when i'm stressed i used to get really bad weeping eczema when i was a, a little tiddler um and eczema again stress also food intolerance very much so Particularly in childhood, very much food intolerance, uh, usually wheat um, or milk, and or both. Um, and obviously, <laughs> eczema is also really itchy and sore. And like what I find now is I have to really look after my skin because otherwise I can get eczema. Yeah. So if it just even there's like even if there's a chink in my armor in terms of my moisturizing regime, then in, in comes eczema. Mm. I if I see a child come into the clinic who has eczema one of the first things I'll be thinking of is is milk. Yeah. So that's usually a, a go-to with it. Um, okay, so another really interesting aspect with skin is the emotions that play into them. Definitely. So one of the big questions I ask what my clients is when they are presenting with a skin condition is, are you comfortable in your skin? How do you feel being in your body? And, and like just sort of chipping in there, like I you know I had a client once who had just such horrific acne and the emotion was that she was actually trying to hide from the world. She didn't feel confident being in the world. So she literally created a mask to hide behind. Mm. Um, and it was amazing when we addressed that, the acne just completely went. So yeah, hiding as well. Another really interesting thing to look at with a skin condition is where it's presenting. 
So I've seen clients who have had skin patches on the ends of meridians, which are Chinese meridian points, mm. and that can be an indication to which organ mm. is, is that th- th- this is affecting. Um, it can also be uh, on energy lines in the body, mm-hmm. which can also suggest yeah. where it could be coming from. And also some lymphatic points in the body as well, so it's fascinating as a kinesiologist when we know all of this. Yeah. Um, if you have any dry patches or skin issues and you are interested in whereabouts on the body they are and if that's trying to tell you something, feel free to post it on the Facebook uh, our Facebook page and we'll happily let you know wh- where it could be coming from. And our Facebook page is balanced, uh, Facebook balancedwellness.uk. Yes, yeah. well, well done. Thanks for putting that there. Promote, promote it. Yeah, that's, it is interesting, isn't it? Skin is fascinating. Um, and because... For you, it was really important to do some anger work. Like that's what started to shift because your psoriasis used to be like stuck, right? It just, mm. it was stuck and it was very visible. So another question I ask is, how would you describe your skin condition? So I used to describe it as being angry. My skin was angry, it was red and raw, and it really, really shifted when I started exploring my relationship to anger. Um, so this is something we're really keen on. Is Supporting people to explore, you know, all of the uh, the barometer of their of their emotions, really the whole gamut, and mm. it's something that we we have a program called Reclaim Your Life, which is absolutely about exploring those emotions and really being able to drop into them as opposed to ignoring them and parking them and pretending that they're not there or trying to get away from them. Oh, when we ignore emotions, then they do. Oh. They absolutely present themselves on your skin. I've, I've experienced it. Yeah. Another big thing for skin is the digestion. It's one Massive. of the first places I go to is what... So particularly if there is something like constipation um, demonstrating in the body... You know, the toxins have to come through the body somehow, so they will often come through the skin. So improving digestion and getting bowel transit moving quicker really can important. really, really change a skin condition. In fact, the last time I had any... Because skin's not my thing. I'm mm. very blessed in my skin. Um, but the last time I had any skin thing was like the whole of my... It was my right eye was just like weepy, red, sore, swollen. Do you remember? It was, yeah. oh, it was horrific. And I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? And this was about six years ago. And I hadn't had any, you know, pharmaceutical medications for about five years at that point. And I'd been bitten by a spider, true story, in England, and ended up with this massive abscess and had to have antibiotics, which I was strongly opposed to. But actually, at the time, I felt so ill. I was just like, okay, whatever. Um, And it was after the antibiotics that I developed this horrendous skin thing but for about a year after the antibiotics my digestion was all playing up do you remember I was like in a right old state right old pickle and where the this horrendous sort of patch of eczema had broken out was actually right over my stomach meridian yeah and it was the the first sign that my whole digestive transit was completely screwed up because of the antibiotics it was interesting wasn't it I had a really similar experience so I picked up giardia in Thailand eating goodness knows what and um I spent six months of having this face rash all around my stomach one oh. meridian. It was all around oh, here. Yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah, I was also going, oh, God, my primer's getting in the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, that was that was also a big, big emotional time for me. So it, yeah. it absolutely came Emotions in, in, and in the skin. It's very fascinating. I love, I do love skin. It's quite, it's... What would you recommend for acne? For acne, I would say the first port of call is really clean out your diet. Um, and if you what have you cleaned out your diet, so get rid of processed food, clean out caffeine, no alcohol, no sugar, really, really go back to basic whole foods and clean out your toiletries So, so and your what you're cleaning your house with. So really reduce toxicity everywhere. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I've really, I've, had, I've been through quite a journey trying to find products that suit my skin and a really wonderful if you suffer with eczema or psoriasis is to check out Neil's Yard they do something called baby balm (gasps) it's got barely anything in it it's just oils and maybe shea butter olive oil your oh oh I have a top tip for eczema oh oh this is this is something I discovered with eczema and it's not really talked about but eczema needs a two-pronged approach so it needs um, an oil, so something like baby balm, 
please don't use Vaseline, or even just <laughs> coconut oil in your house. Um, coconut oil, maybe mixed with a little bit of olive oil, but it needs the oil which penetrates down to actually start the healing process on the bottom layers of the skin. But it also needs an emollient, so it needs a cream as well. It needs a moisturiser. So just a moisturiser on its own won't do it for eczema. You need both. And so to go with the baby balm from Mia's Yard, I love um, Soothing Star Flower, which is like it's got no essential oils in it at all. It doesn't smell great because it's not perfumed in any way, but it's fantastic and so soothing. And so you put the baby balm on, and that goes down into the lower levels and then you put the, um, the Soothing Star Flower on the top. But that is my top tip for eczema. Amazing. Um, I would say if you are suffering with a skin condition, then to ex the same as what Claire said, clean up the diet. I would look at digestion. I would get stress down. Um, I would also say the big supplement I tend to look at for skin is zinc. Yeah, zinc especially great. acne or eczema. Yeah, um, that tends to be one of the little magic. Yeah, zinc and D three as well for acne, particularly mm -hmm. teenage acne. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, top tips oh, today. And, and drink water. And drink water. Oh, 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 and, oh, and, 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 there is so much that we can say about skin. Uh, so we, we, we shall revisit do it. another one. So. Yeah, well, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.